A common question from people who are learning to work with SMART is, what test signal should I use? Will I get better or more accurate results with a certain type of test signal? In this video, we'll see what happens when we use different types of signals to take a transfer function measurement of a sound system. We've selected a few different test signals and two music clips. We'll start by looking at the signals directly on the RTA, shown here in the top pane, and the spectrograph on the bottom pane. Now we'll switch to system analysis using a transfer function measurement. A transfer function measurement is a comparative measurement. It works by looking at the signal that came out of the system, comparing that to the signal that went into the system, and displaying the relationship between the two. We're no longer measuring the signal itself, we're measuring the relationship between the system's output and input, which is unaffected by the choice of test signal, as long as the system we're testing is linear not being driven into limiting or overload. As you can see, the system response measurement is not dependent on our choice of test signal, as long as the signal is broadband and the system is being operated within its linear range. 